Hey YouTube, it's meal prep number three. Now let's see how to make it. Here are today's ingredients. We have a pound of grass-fed beef, sweet potatoes, an onion, string beans, green pepper, mushrooms, tomatoes, eggs, and some tomato paste. Let's start off by preparing the sweet potatoes since those will go in the oven. Speaking of, preheat it to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 204 degrees Celsius. I've rinsed and scrubbed the sweet potatoes thoroughly as I like to leave the skin on. For this meal prep, I'm using four medium sweet potatoes. It doesn't really matter how you cut them, but in this case I'll be cutting them so they can be close to being a cube. Depending on the size of the sweet potato, it can be difficult to cut them. So cutting them into smaller sections helps with this. Now that all the sweet potatoes have been cut, put them into a bowl and add some olive oil. I find it easier to sprout the oil if I mix them in a bowl first. Here I add around 2-3 to three tablespoons of olive oil and mix it until I see everything is well coated with the oil. Place them in a sheet pan making sure they have enough room. That way they will cook and brown nicely. This is why I'm using two sheet pans for the amount of sweet potatoes that I have. Add salt and pepper to taste and put them in the oven for around 20 minutes or until a fork goes through them. Next are the string beans. Once you've washed them, we still need to clean them by removing the hard, inedible part. It's the part that attaches to the plant. I like lining them up just to give it one chop to remove it. Hey, look at that. The sweet potatoes are done. Now that they are all clean, we can line them up and chop them into smaller pieces. It's a little time consuming, but it's worth having them be all close to the same size. I'm sure there's a more efficient way of doing this, but I haven't really thought of it yet. Let me know if you have one. We'll set these aside for now. Let's prepare some ingredients for the ground beef. First off are the mushrooms. A slice of green pepper, a quarter of an onion, and finally some tomatoes. I'm using these cherry tomatoes because it's what I had on hand, so no need to buy any more. I'm just chopping up something equivalent to a small or medium tomato. Double this amount since we will be adding the same thing to the string beans. Let's start cooking the ground beef since that takes longer. Add one tablespoon of oil to a pan with medium high heat. Once it's hot, add the mushrooms and let them cook for a bit. Don't add salt to avoid them from releasing water. Now that they have browned, add the rest of the chopped ingredients. Stir and let them cook for a bit. It needed more oil so I added about a tablespoon. Add a little salt for the veggies. Let's put the one pound of ground beef in. For spices, let's do one tablespoon of chipotle powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, around two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, and a good two pinches of salt that you can adjust later. Finally, a small can of tomato paste. Mix well and break down the meat to avoid big clumps before covering. Set the flame to medium low and stir occasionally. It's time to cook the string beans as these don't take long. Add a tablespoon of oil into a somewhat deep pan. I put avocado oil in this case because I wanted to turn up the flame to medium high. Once hot, add the string beans. Add a few pinches of salt and pepper a teaspoon of dill, a teaspoon of garlic powder, mix well and add the previously chopped green pepper, onion and tomato. Mix well again, cover it and lower the flame to medium. After a few minutes, maybe six to 10, check the meat and taste for salt. Adjust if needed. And if you have any red wine, you can add a splash for some extra flavor. After mixing in the wine, set it aside as it's done. Check on the string beans after three or four minutes. They should still be light green. In a separate vessel, whisk two medium eggs. Pour it over the string beans and mix it just a little bit. Cover and cook for another minute or two. Uncover one to two minutes after and mix the string beans well to spread the eggs. At this point, they are done. You don't want the string beans to be overcooked as it will turn dark green and be mushy instead of having a fresh green color 
and a bit of crunch. That's meal prep number three. If you enjoyed it and would like to see more content in the future, subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching.